hello guys i hope so that you will be fine and enjoying good health today's my topic is on acid reflux disease which is called as GRD GERD gastroesophageal reflux happens when your stomach contents come back up into your esophagus esophageal reflux disease is a more severe and long lasting condition in which GERD causes repeated symptoms or leads to complications over time now i will tell you what are the symptoms and causes of this disease gastroesophageal reflux and gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD commonly cause symptoms such as heartburn and regurgitation GERD may develop when your lower esophageal sphincter becomes weak or relaxes when it shouldn't what is the diagnosis for it your doctor will diagnose gastroesophageal reflux and GERD by reviewing your symptoms and medical history if your symptoms don't improve with lifestyle changes and medicines you may need medical tests and what is actually what is this uh, acid reflux i will tell you that esophageal reflux happens when your stomach contents come back up into your esophagus many people have gear once in a while and gear often come happens without causing symptoms in some cases gear may cause heartburn also called acid indigestion and uh, doctors also refer to gerd as acid indigestion acid reflux acid regurgitation heartburn reflux having gerd once in a while is common gastroesophageal reflux disease is a more severe and long lasting condition in which gerd causes happen repeated re- uh, symptoms that are bothersome or lead to complications over time If you think you may have GERD you should see your doctor and anyone can develop GERD if you are more likely to have GERD if you are overweight or have obesity uh, are a pregnant woman take certain medications and smoke or regularly exposed to second hand smoke what what the medicines you take which can cause GERD Uh, including benzodiazepines sedatives that makes you calmer or sleepy calcium channel blockers which are used to treat high blood pressure certain asthma medications and non steroid anti inflammatory drugs and sedatives tricyclic antidepressants these may all cause gerd or ger or gerd a hiatal hernia can also increase the chance of getting gerd or make gerd symptoms worse a hiatal hernia is a condition in which the opening in your diaphragm lets the upper part of the stomach move up into your chest and uh, as far as the diagnosis is concerned your symptoms suggest you might have a complication of gerd your symptoms suggest that you must have either another health problem or Uh, that causes symptoms similar to that of GERD. Your symptoms don't improve after treatment with medications and lifestyle changes. Your doctor may refer you to a gastroenterologist to diagnose and treat GERD. Your doctor may order one or more of the following tests to help diagnose GERD and check for GERD complications in one or another way. which include upper gi endoscopy which is a procedure in which a doctor uses an endoscope a flexible tube with a camera to see the lining of your upper gi tract including your esophagus stomach and duodenum during upper gi endoscopy a doctor may, uh, may obtain biopsies by passing an instrument through the endoscope to take a small pieces of tissues from the lining of your esophagus a pathologist will examine the tissue under a microscope Doctors may order an upper GI endoscopy to check for complications of GERD or problems 
other than injured that may be causing your symptoms esophageal ph monitoring is the most accurate way to detect stomach acid in the esophagus and two types of esophageal ph monitoring are catheter monitoring uh, in which a healthcare professional will pass one uh, passes uh, one end of a catheter a thin flexible tube through your nose and into your esophagus to measure acid and non acid reflux and the second one is the capsule monitoring in which a healthcare professional uses an endoscope to place a small wireless capsule on the lining of your esophagus to measure acid reflux during esophageal ph monitoring you will be a, a monitor that uh, receives information from the catheter or capsule and tracks information about your diet sleep and symptoms your doctor will use this information to see how your diet sleep and symptoms relate to acid reflux in your esophagus doctors may order this test to confirm their diagnosis of jerd to find out if jerd treatments are working lifestyle changes may reduce your symptoms your doctor may recommend losing weight if you are overweight or have obesity elevating your head during sleep by placing foam wedge or extra pillow under your head and upper back to incline your body and raise your head off your bed to 6 to 8 inches and quitting smoking if you smoke changing your eating habits and diet over the counter prescription and medications you if you buy then uh, jerd medicines are over the counter and however if you have the symptoms that will not go away with over the counter medicines you should talk with your doctor you your doctor will prescribe one or more of the medication to treat jerd uh, which includes antacids doctors may recommend antacid to relieve mild heartburn and other mild jerd jerd symptoms acids antacids are available over the counter antacids can help relieve mild symptoms however you should not use these medicines every day or for severe symptoms except after discussing your antacid use with your doctor these medicines can have side effects such as diarrhea or constipation and as to blockers as to blockers lower the amount of acid your stomach makes h2 blockers can help heal the stomach esophagus but not as well as proton pump inhibitors ppis can you can buy as to blockers over the counter or your doctor can prescribe them proton pump inhibitors lower the amount of acid your stomach makes ppis are better at treating jerd symptoms than as to blockers and they can heal the esophageal lining in the most people with jerd you can buy ppis over the counter or your doctor can prescribe one and doctors may prescribe ppi for long term jerd treatment ppis are generally safe and effective side effects are uncommon and may include headache diarrhea and upset stomach researchers also suggest that taking ppis may increase the chances of clots tdi difficialis infections experts are still studying the effects of taking ppis for a long time or in higher doses talk with your doctor about the risk and benefits of taking ppis Your doctor may recommend surgery if your jerd symptoms don't improve with lifestyle changes and medications or if you wish to stop taking uh, long term jerd medications to manage symptoms you are most likely to develop complications from surgery than from medicines fundoplication fundoplication is the most common surgery for jerd in most cases it leads to the long term improvement of jerd symptoms during the operation a surgeon sews the top of the your stomach around the end of your esophagus to add pressure to the lower esophageal sphincter and help prevent reflux surgeons may perform fundoplication as laparoscopic or open surgery in laparoscopic fundoplication which is more common surgeons make a small cuts in the abdomen and insert special tools to perform the operation laparoscopic fundoplication leaves small uh, scars if open uh, fundoplication surgeons uh makes a large cut in the abdomen and uh, uh, there may be a bariatric surgery another option if you have jerd and obesity your doctor may recommend weight loss surgery which is called bariatric surgery most often uh gastric bypass surgery uh, bariatric surgery can help you lose weight and reduce jerd symptoms and endoscopy is another one and in in a small part in in some cases uh doctors may recommend procedures that use endoscopy to treat jerd for endoscopy doctors insert an endoscope a small flexible tube with a uh, with a light and camera 
Throw your mouth and into your esophagus. Doctors may use endoscopic procedures to sew the top of your stomach around the lower esophageal sphincter and to deliver radio frequency energy to the sphincter. Don't use these procedures without uh, recommendations by the doctor. If you have esophageal reflux disease, you are overweight and obesity, your doctor may suggest losing your weight to reduce your GER symptoms and uh, will recommend an uh, eating plan to help you to lose weight. If you have jerked symptoms at night or whenever you are lying down, eating meals at least 3 hours before you lie down or go to bed may improve symptoms. What are uh, the foods you should uh, avoid? You should avoid acidic foods such as citric acids and tomatoes, alcoholic drinks, chocolates, coffees and other sources of caffeine, high, uh, high fat foods, mint, spicy foods and talk with your doctor about your diet and food or drinks that seems to increase your symptoms your doctors may recommend reducing or avoiding certain foods or drinks to see if your symptoms improve thank you for watching this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my video have a nice day thank you very much for listening my video